Hi everyone, my name is Martin, the co-founder of Trade VSA. Due to the recent COVID-19 event, many have realized that one day they might just lose their stable job. The weakening economy has forced many people to go on unpaid leave, get a pay cut or even getting unemployed. Now this is why having a side income is so important to supplement our daily expenses even if we lose our job. If you always wanted an additional income outside of your job, here's the good news. And we are here to provide you an opportunity to learn about the stock market investment as you get started, even if you don't have any experience before. Now, after watching our video lecture, you're able to buy and sell your stocks from your home and get that additional income every time if you get it right. So now, if you are ready, let's get started. Now, welcome to our first lecture on our beginner's course to the stock market. Now, in this lecture one, introduction to the stock market, we will be highlighting some of the module outline for you here. Now, in this lecture one topic, we will talk about the stock market in general. We will also touch on the different types of category of stocks, the Busa Malaysia, which is the stock exchange from Malaysia, and how to use the information briefly on that you usually get from the newspaper. And also an academic research that is people usually talk about is the efficient market hypothesis. And also from the important trade VSA standpoint, the stages of the stock market cycle. So let's get started. I often get people ask me, is the stock market like gambling? Now, like it or not, investing has some risk, just like any other financial instrument. You will win and you will lose. More importantly, I believe, is the education and using the right tool. Now, investing is different from gambling for the large part. You, as shareholder, if you buy uh, some shares, you become a partly shareholder of the company. So what's happened next is the right mindset towards investing. How are you going to capitalize on your investment over a longer period? So take note, investing, it's really, really different from gambling. Now, when you become a shareholder of the company by buying a share through the Busa Malaysia and through your uh, trading uh, platform provider, you will get a stocks. In right now, in the new era of internet, you don't get a script like a certificate. You will probably get a scriptless and it was held by the Busa uh, Malaysia uh, CDS account. So a stocks which you usually buy, you get a share part of the company. That's right, you become part ownership of the company. So when you buy a share, you become an ordinary shareholder. Now, when we talk about the category of the stocks, introduction to the stock market, we can't run away from the large cap stocks, which these are the regular household names that you see, like Maybank, Nestle, and Tanaga. Now, generally, they have very large market capitalization, which actually tells you that a lot of people are buying, buying and selling up to almost at least one to two billion. And usually this kind of company keep a large reserve of cash to take advantage of new business opportunity. And because of the household's name, many people know about them, they usually pay dividend very, very consistently. And as such, a lot of institutional, just like EPF, the retirement uh, organization, usually buy this kind of shares to get dividend to pay to their members too. As such, because they are huge, they usually provide a lot of liquidity in the market, meaning there are enough volume for you to buy and sell. Now let's move on to the next. Now in the next category, usually we call them the mid cap stocks, are company of medium size and they range around 450, 650 million to 1.2 billion ringgit. That's right. So they are usually mid size and they are concerned of growth. They have been around after listing for several years and they wanted to grow and usually they pay some dividend but they forego some dividend also to continue to grow and these are usually household name too like Astro, Inari and MYEG. Now we're going to move on to the next. The next one is the small cap stock. These are company generally who are just listed less than a few years and they are less than 450 to 650 million ringgit of market cap and because the intention to grow very, very strong, they forego dividend. And that's why investors need to. When you buy this kind of small cap stock, you want to have price appreciation. Dividend, it's something, it's a bonus, right? Because 
And many of these companies are usually in pharmaceutical, healthcare, and technology job technology stocks so where you can see this sector will continue to grow year in and year out now next is the one of the big authorities is like the sheriff in town right they regulate all the malaysian capital market and they have a job to make sure that the stock exchange open and close and they are run fairly and orderly so many people can buy and sell share just like you and me and also institutional to make all kinds of information financial uh, uh, information out by these companies which have a material impact to them so that is why we usually keep track of all the earnings release all the news by the company and regulated by the stock exchange of malaysia now how to use the information that you usually get from the stock market that's right. Now, the stock market, usually we get information from uh, news, from website, financial website in here. But the one that really pay uh, attention uh, to many investors are the top loser and gainer. So the top, they are, if they are more gainer, that's it. Uh, that means the market is bullish and vice versa. So a lot of time, technical analysis use the number of gainer versus the number of loser to tell that it's a broad participation in the bear move. Just imagine if you have only two winners, the rest is loser. That means broader market is actually very bad, uh, very uh, bearish. Now, usually when you get a strong upward movement, then you have a lot of participation from stocks that is advancing in prices. So it means there is a broader market participation. And that's usually come with a strong price move, which have more um, that's right. Now, on the vice versa, when you have a lot of people selling the number of participants selling, then there is a big downward movement, all right? Now, another aspect that we use a lot in media is turnover or volume now turnover is just the volume traded or volume transacted times the closing price now usually when we have high volume right for the day that means on the rising market usually for the klci that's the index means the market is driven a lot by buyers high volume right with falling price index means there is also selling, especially then there's a panic. Everyone is trying to get, in, get out to that small door. And that's why you see high volume and price plummeted very fast when you have a panic in the market. So those are information that you need to understand about the volume and the turnover. Now, not forgetting is the academic uh, contribution. It's called the efficient market hypothesis. Now, it's stated that all relevant information are fully reflected and reflected in the stock market as well as the stock price of the company. So hence, in an efficient market, usually investor cannot make exceptional profit without taking exceptional risks. So that simply means that they need to project or forecast the future. They have to take a bet that, hey, this company will do well. That's why I buy now. That is usually in an efficient market. Now, if you look very deeply, there are three forms of efficient market hypothesis, right? The strong form, the semi-strong, and the weak form. Now, the KLCI, SGX, as well as most part of the uh, stock exchange in the world are between semi-strong form to strong form. That means investors need to have the knowledge and the skill more than anybody else to make exceptional profit through fundamental analysis, technical analysis, in some cases, of course, illegal insider information. So that's why as investors like you and me, we need all the information tools and also get the right knowledge. Now, from the aspect of trade VSA using volume spend analysis, we always talk about smart money. So now, smart money is an important aspect which we will cover in a later lecture. But to make money in the stock market, you need to follow the smart money. Now, when it comes to the smart money, we usually have four stages of the stock market cycle. All right, or we call it market stages. Stage one, accumulation. Stage two, markup. Stage three, distribution. And stage four, markdown. Now in stage one, we need to follow what Warren Buffett always say. Be brave when others are fearful. And when the fear is over, right, the market will start to move up where you will see volume start coming in. As the market goes higher, more and more good news will pour in. We are going to move to Stage three, where the market becomes slightly overheated and more and more news are coming up. That's where the smart money usually start to distribute. And usually that's the peak. And after the distribution, more and more people coming in, the market will mark down where the professional will start taking profit 
and the amateurs will refuse to cut loss. That's where we see the market really breaks down, right? Now, this is the illustration of the stages of the stock market cycle, or we call it market stages. We have stage one, which is the blue line that you see, stage two, the green line where we see uptrend, and the, pit, and the uh, purple line, you will see the distribution, all right? Where the market will start to distribute lower and lower, finally breaking down to the downtrend or the markdown in stage four, and then re-beginning of a reaccumulation of what we call stage one. So the cycle continued to repeat. So it's very important for investor and trader using volume spread analysis to understand these market stages. And that's why we really emphasize uh, investing in the stock market or trading requires successful education and also tools. In Trade VSA, we have a very um, good device which is available on the Google and Apple Play Store, which is Smart Robin. You can download it for free. Now, as a summary, as we come to the end of lecture one, I will talk about the introduction and Busa Malaysia, which we have spoke about earlier on. Then the different types of category of stocks, large cap, mid cap and small cap and also use the information that you usually get from the newspaper or financial website top gainer loser volume and turnover and very important <laughs> the efficient market hypothesis where we talk about the different forms that investors should know whether your stock exchange are semi strong to a strong form which is where we are the klci and from the VSA standpoint, volume spread analysis is to understand the stages of the stock market cycle. Stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. And once you master those market stages, you are able to know when to go in and when to go out, which we will touch on on the later lecture of our beginners course. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lecture.